But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? Sure. Stand back and stand by. Will you Who shut up, man? Listen, are you I'm, in favor of law and order? I'm in favor of law. You follow it. Are you in favor of law and order? Go yes, ahead. I'm I'm you ask a question, let him finish. Law and order. Law and order. Let him answer. Law and order with justice where people get treated fairly. Yeah, protect Mr. People President, I'm the moderator of this debate. And I would like you to let me ask my question, and then you can answer go your question. Go ahead. Your party wants simple. to go socialist my medicine and socialist health care. My party is me. Right healthcare. now, I am and the Democratic Party. And they're going to dominate you, Joe. You know that. I am the Democratic Party right now. The platform of the Not Democratic Party Harris. is what I, in fact, approved of. First of all, I guess I'm debating you, not him, but that's okay. I'm not surprised. The fact is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I just want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, I, not first in your I, class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He has, You'd you know, you, you picked be surprised. the Go wrong ahead, guy, oh, the wrong oh, night oh. at the wrong time. Listen, that was really a pr productive segment, wasn't it? This is the same us. man it's who all told set you up. by Easter this had be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous, like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm and that would take care of it. This is the that same man. That was said sarcastically. That was the whole issue relating to COVID. He still hasn't even acknowledged that he knew this was happening, knew how dangerous it was going to be back in February, and he didn't even tell you a lot of people died and a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, Mr. Mr. President? Did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't <laughs> go to so. Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because man. you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. So we built the greatest economy in history. We closed it down because of the China plague. And he wants to close down the... He will shut it down again. He will destroy this country. You can't fix the economy until you fix the COVID crisis. And he has no intention of doing anything about making it better for you all at home. No, people want their schools open. They don't want to be shut down. They don't want their state shut down. They want their restaurants. I look at New York. It's so sad what's happening in New York. It's almost like a ghost town. Want I'm the one safe. that brought back football. By the way, I brought back Big Ten <laughs> football. It was me, and it, I'm very happy to do it. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. You paid millions of dollars? Millions in, of dollars, So yes. not seven hundred Millions of dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. I, and you'll get to when? see it. But in let me Shalom? just tell you... I don't want to pay tax. Be before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws, and that's what it is. Gentlemen, is <laughs> I hate to raise Chris, my voice, but I see it seems to be, why should I be different than the two of you? This is a president who has used everything as a dog whistle to try to generate racist hatred, racist division. And I'll tell you what, the people of this country want and demand law and order, and you're afraid to even say it. But look, the vast majority of police officers are good, decent, honorable men and women. They risk their lives every day to take care of us. But there are some bad apples. If he ever got to run this country, and they ran it the way he would want to run it, we would have, we would our suburbs would be gone. By suburbs. the way, our suburbs would be gone, and you would see problems like you've he never seen. He would know a suburb unless he took a wrong turn. Oh, I know suburbs he would not. so much I was better. Wait, go ahead, I was, wait a minute. I was so raised in the suburbs. What's, what really is a threat to the suburbs and their safety is his failure to deal with COVID. They're dying in the suburbs. I, and, I, and you know, if you want to switch seats, we, we could very quickly. We can do that. You have repeatedly we, criticized the the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing right. extremist groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing. Not from the right so wing. So what are you? What are you? you look, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right wing. Who would you like me to condemn? White supremacists and right wing. Proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. Under this president, we become weaker, 
sicker, poor, more divided, and more violent. When I was Vice President, we inherited a recession. I was asked to fix it. I did. We left him a booming economy, and he caused the recession. Mr. President, your campaign agreed to both sides would get two-minute answers uninterrupted. Well, your, your side agreed to it, and why don't you observe what your campaign agreed to as a ground rule, okay, sir? He never keeps his word. Because Can you add no, back, No, 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 I'm not asking. That, that was a rhetorical question. Pistol. Can you Go add ahead, back sir. 30 seconds? Yeah, because, yes, okay. you may have. All right. Go ahead. He was not a loser. He was a patriot, and the people left behind oh, there really? were heroes. Really? And I resent Are you talking about like Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking I don't about know. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. For it wasn't dishonorably. cocaine use. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. He my made son, a fortune. Gentlemen, my son. And he didn't have a job. My son, like a lot of people, like a lot of people we know at home, had a drug problem. He's overtaken it. He's, he's, he's fixed it. He's worked on it. And I'm proud of him. Do you believe that, that human pollution, gas, greenhouse gas emissions contributes to the global warming of this planet? I think planet? a lot of things do, but I think to an extent, yes. I think to an extent, yes. But I also think we have to do better management of our forests, where not they want true. to take out the cows, too. Not you know, that's true. not true either, right? He cannot stop you from being able to determine the outcome of this election. And in terms of whether or not when the votes are counted and they're all counted, that will be accepted. If I win, that will be accepted. If I lose, that will be accepted. But by the way, if in fact he says he's not sure what he's going to accept, well, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter. Because if we get the votes, it's going to be all over. He's going to go. He can't stay in power. It won't happen. It won't happen. So vote. Just make sure you understand you have it in your control to determine what this country is going to look like the next four years. Is it going to change? You're going to get four more years of these lies. As far as the ballots are concerned, it's a disaster. A solicited ballot, okay, solicited is okay. You're soliciting, you're asking, they send it back, you send it back. I did that. If you have an unsolicited, they're sending millions of ballots all over the country. If it's a fair you're election, what? I am 100% on board. But if I see tens of thousands of ballots being manipulated, I can't go along with that. Our military, they've been voting by ballots for since the end of the Civil War, in effect. It's the same process. It's honest. No one has established at all that there is fraud related to mail-in ballots. It's already been established. President Trump, Vice President Biden, it's been an interesting hour and a half. I want to thank you both for participating.